In Luke 24 49, Jesus told them, He said, Tarry in Jerusalem until ye are endued with power. Please flash me the scripture. And I'm like, Tarry in Jerusalem until ye are endued with power from on high. Now, in another translation, it says, Tarry in the city of Zion. Another translation said, Tarry in the city, then you add Zion until you are clothed with power. So you cannot sacrifice, and there is no new level of power. Solomon sacrificed, give thanks to God. As he was about to leave, God gave him wisdom. He was still in the in this place of sacrifice. That same night he slept, the Lord gave him wisdom. Can I tell you one of the greatest power on earth? that men always neglect but they know how to measure it is wisdom have wisdom even the upper will look for you put your hands together for Jesus you are clapping you don't know why you are clapping I see the upper beneath coming to fellowship with us give Jesus a mighty hand clap if he can go to other churches, he will come here. Somebody holler even like a thunder. Tarry in his presence until you re inquire and, and have a reward. Until the reward lands into your hand. Don't leave. Don't leave. Let me tell you. Look at one of the things that they are fighting on Facebook. They don't want you to sacrifice. This is what you hear. Hey, don't mind them. Is it not the pastor? Your pastor. They will always want to raise seed. This one seed. The other one seed. They are not seed. Let me tell you. The Muslim give more than Christians. Because they understood the place of sacrifice. The occultic even give more than you Christians. They understood the place of sacrifice. But when you are to give, they will be countering your own. So that they will be able to hold you as a priest. Because they understand the place of sacrifice. If they don't understand the place, when election is coming now, you are hiding your children. Because they understood that anything that they require human blood for, once they do it, answer will come. I come to pray for you. Uh, not your head, not your blood. Uh, anyone that is coming to take your children this evening, church, uh, Allah, and they shall die. Politicians are looking for where to give sacrifice that will make them sit on that seat to remote Christians. In the place of giving, Christians are drawing their hand. That's the reason why they will control you. You don't know, say, get, see, spirit, get language. More, more not deceive ourselves. I have to tell you this. Spirit has a language. When you understand the language, you understand their levels. There are, there are things I don't pray for, sir. I don't need to pray. With my sacrifice, the language I've already been spoken. Amen. Yes. The Lord said, give me the Oleka. I gave you the Oleka. Anytime we are going home, sir. Boss goes, boy. I go enter on that motto. I don't preach finish. Now, the Anna did not go feed. Tell everybody, I be. I go remove my shirt. I go remove that singlet. I go enter on that motto. So people will look at this church and say, ah, has this church big reach? See, see the motto where the pastor did that. I beg. Now, what did God tell me now they follow? I don't feel each church money take by motto. I won't last. I don't want to swear for Belen like the way others they swear. You never die, you don't begin to swear for Belen. I don't want to be fat in my cheek. I'm not gossiping those who are, who are fat. But can I tell you, every man of God has a, a size and a measure in the realm of the spirit. When you are above it, you are already obesity. And we enter in that motto. One day, mama was inside the car. I freed the motto. Kick spoil. I need to go bridge her for inside. Now I put block for the back. So that if they roll the car, my wife they inside. And my children are inside too. Amen. May not go lose the future of those children. <laughs> I put block for the tire. Now I enter on that motto. I spark her here. <laughs> Hey, one more day, Nobody takes that motor. Nobody takes that motor. Hold the motor. Hold the motor. Hold the My wife said, My husband is under. Now they repair the motor. As I said, Come out, the man, look me. 
he looked the shirt, he can't look the person with that. He not look like her. I enter motor, I put her for gear one. Some people will call me an Igbo man. Any name you like, you call me. Are we men or say? Are we men in your man? Jesus Christ, you after the thanksgiving we might have finished the thanksgiving my wife now said i beg oh god he said go 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 it's too much my spiritual father said when i pass through that bus something hurt me in this Say, I, I wish the money I'm expecting has arrived. I would have bought a new car for my son. That same night, after Sunday. As a college met me, then everybody started prophesying because of the car. Papa, you go buy a new car. You go buy a new car. I have tried to buy cars. The Lord said, give me the money. Now! I asked him one day, why am I giving you? He said, you are giving your coffee. May you not use your money to buy a gift that will kill you. Yeah. Let me tell you. The greatest weapon for you to overcome. The greatest weapon you can ever use to subdue. Is thanksgiving. How do I know? Do you know the secret of David? A man who forces to sit battle without losing any. I began to make research. You were always here. Oh, give thanks. 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 That is where your secret hide. Oh, give thanks. A man that will thank God before battle starts. Tell me the reason why we come back and he will be wounded in battle. Before you embark on a journey, you are telling God, Father, I have come before the altar. A Siana Parata, a Shula Kaliate, a Kolota Pataya, a Diana Pota Diate Kusa, a Soto Parata, Guane Parari, Miane Malea, a Shishu Parata, Keswate Tamata. And at the end, that's it, we kill you on the way. It is not scriptural. It's not scriptural. Service your altar where, and God will bless you where. Always need to service your altar. That's one thing they are fighting. Fighting to service your altar. I don't, I don't see myself as a general of us here. I've warned you before. I come to Ozu. <laughs> you know I understand they say what I see. If you understand this work well, you go to behave well. God, there are many people they build intimacy with God and they are not seeing God as their mate. This work, me a hustler. I be hustler. I call Ozu. As you sit down here, you sit down. Let me tell you. Everything when I don't talk, since me want go download that. After I download, I'll begin the use and walk. Because he's only speaking through me now. And I was the postmaster that I used to post posted the, the whole letter to your destination. Me as a postman, I get my own. Yeah, yeah, I will make a video. To know the one he said to me. To me, to me. Give your neighbor a high five. You will not die empty. You will die fulfilled. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. The number three thing you must do. Thanksgiving brings you into the level of excess supply. You want to have excess supply? Keep thanking him. Don't stop thanking him. You leave your house. Thank you, Jesus. You are coming in. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. They are mocking you. Thank you, Jesus. No gathering high blood pressure over the thing you can't change. Since you have been thinking of that thing, you don't change. And what's not your problem? What's not your problem? What's not your problem? And they look for money. The money where they look for say, okay, fine, Anna, fine. Find the SCF of money that is missing. And you, are, you, are, you, are, you want to kill yourself. You don't know where it is, but when you begin to say, thank you, Jesus, the angel of the Lord said, go, go right. Thank you, Jesus. You see it here, you pick it and put it in your pocket. When you learn to give God thanks, you are in the level of excess supply. How do I know? John chapter 6 verse 13. John 6 13. They fast with this. John 6 13. 
The Bible said, and when Jesus took the bread, he lifted it up and he gave thanks. What happened? As they began to share, they got that 12 basket of free grass that was left. What gave back to excess supply? Thank you, my God. He only gave thanks. And they gathered them together. It was 12 baskets left. After they shared five loaves of bread and two fishes. Enough. 12 baskets. In other words, six baskets of fish, six baskets basket of what? Of bread. The equation that was not balanced before, he balanced it. It was two before. He added four by the multiplication table of the Lord in heaven. And this one was five before. He only added one. So how many did he add like that? That's five. Five speaks of what? Grace. And spell Jesus. J-E-S-U-S. Who did it? That's all. He just added four. Four one. And he made it. Keep thanking him. When we had to build this place, we got to a time. Ask Pastor Joe, ask Pastor Collins, ask Pastor, um, uh, uh, Pastor K. Honorable Ike was already here. I told them, I said, no. Marriage and every pillar began to speak. Enosa, Zigada. I stood in the middle. Lehana, Bokati, Atosha, Zelege. I told them, don't pray, but I cast him. Give him thanks. We came here to thank him. And we just thank him for for few minutes. We left. We left to the God of wonder was doing the roofing. No, I saw it. The day the roofing sheet landed, everybody surprised. I did do you don't know. But what he needs you to do is to give him thanks at all times. I was making research and I found out the reason why there was war in heaven. Sir, the war that happened in heaven was caused by you and I. It was caused by you and I. Because in the book of Psalm 8 verse 4 He said who, who is man That thou art mindful of So it was the mindful That he was having towards man That the devil saw He began to heavy Say okay my father This man will leave this throne for man So So everything we they labor for We have been saying holy Ada, Holy Ada, holy Ada. So he wants to give this thing to man Devil start improvising a system it's just like in a place where a young a young staff a young staff a young staff where you know the day we enter work they want make a yoga how you go feel that's what you do to satan <laughs> ah! that was what devil saw and devil said no i must improvise my system or the bible book he threw him down because of that hatred he was still having from the beginning because let me tell you this everything in the realm of the spirit happens first in spirit before the physical so man was existing at that time before he brought them to physical because the spirit reign is far older than the physical reign so that's the reason why you as a person it is your spirit man that I see to prophesy not your physical look My God will help us. Every true daughter and every true son know what it's supposed to give to the father. The father don't need to tell you this is what I need before you start doing it. Every true son, every true daughter knows what to give to the father. So if you are not be preached, talk to before you know what to offer. You are not in the level of the son. And that's the reason why there are some certain things that will be hidden from you. But every son and daughter of Zion, God cannot hide anything. Anything, not Yamaka, nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing can that God can hide from you. In Genesis chapter 18, verse 17, the Lord said, Is there anything that I will hide from my servant Abraham? Is there anything? Certainly not. So thanksgiving bring you into the level of intimacy with God. It makes you to hear you that don't hear God before when you offer where you hear God speak. Can I shock you? The first time Cain and Abel heard, heard the Lord speak to them audibly was in the table of sacrifice. As they offer, I say, why do your containers, why is your containers though? If your containers happens to be brightened, 
won't I accept your offering like the way I accepted the one of your bro, of your bro? Because we didn't hear and God spoke to them, go and offer. Amen. In conclusion, anything you are doing for God, do it with the whole of your heart. There is a reward for it. You might not repeat instantly. Because the way you sacrifice, make God to look at the tablet of what is to give to you. If it is a transgenerational blessing is to give to you, you must wait. If it is Nana, but if wait till you ask, now wait till go benefit your 10 generation to come. Sister Bikono, Chire Uwe. Chire. Hapo Rosh Rosh. Hapo Rosh Rosh. Chire, Chire Kwe. Nugo, Chire Kwe. Lash your mind. All those high tension, high blood, is high tension is equal to high blood pressure. Ah! When you begin to do what God wants you to do, you don't need to pray that, Lord, I want to make heaven. Heaven instantaneously erode you when you are not even in the class of aromet. Because you can't give them a sweet smelly savour and they don't look for you. A king offer and the Lord look at his children and say, no, uh, today, today, I must strike. Go back. He understood the template, comfort. Understand the things of the spirit and stop complaining. And my God will give you a higher level. Shall we arise? Our vision, our vision, our vision is to see people as in our vision. Our vision, our vision is to see people as in our mission. Our mission, our mission is to reach out to the lessons. Our mission, our mission.